please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children we are working with time today we going to learn conversion of days into hours we know one day is equal to 24 hours so we are going to convert days into hours conversion conversion of days of days into hours now we will take an example okay now i'm giving you a small example of converting convert convert 3 days into hours now that's a question this is an example i'm going to give you convert 3 days into hours okay that's what we are going to do first before we go on now here all we need to remember is one day if one day is equal to 24 hours then we are given 3 days how many so Three days is equal to what? Twenty-four hours, okay? Into three. Twenty-four. One day is twenty-four. Three days is into three gives us the answer. Now, twenty-four, two and four into three. multiply this is tens and ones we must remember and multiplied by 3 now 4 into 3 gives you 12 4 is a 12 you put 2 here plus 1 that goes to the tens place and then 3 twos are Six plus one seven. So the answer you get one day is twenty four hours. So three days is twenty four into three. That gives us seventy two. Four threes are twelve. Carry over one over to the tens place. Three twos are six plus seven. So three days is equal to your answer is seventy two hours. that's your answer yeah so your answer is 72 hours fine now i'll give you some more sums for you to work it out all right now let's work on sum number 1 convert convert Four days into hours. Okay, that's your question. Convert four days into hours. All right. This is your question. You have four days, and you're supposed to convert into hours. Now, what do we write down? One day. So we must say one day. One day is equal to if 
one day is equal to 24 hours then therefore four days four days is equal to 24 into 4 and that will give us the answer whatever answer so your answer is but to work it out now we put a column here for us to work on all right now we have 24 Put the 24 in the column and then into 3 for the first sum and here this is into 4. Now this is 1's and 10. You must always remember 10's 1 so that we do not make a mistake. Now if 1 day is equal to 24 hours, 4 days will be 24 into 4. Now, 4 fours are 16, carry over 1. 4 twos are 8 plus 1, 9. So, you get 96 hours. So, your answer is 96 hours. Alright? So, you get your answer. 9, that is your answer. 96 hours. 4 days. 96 hours. Now, let's take another sum. Alright? Now, next is 7 days. Convert. Convert 7 days into hours. Into hours. Alright? Seven day. You are going to convert seven days into hours. Now, what must we do? First, we should have a margin. Now, if one day is equal to, if one day is equal to how many hours? 24 hours. Then what happened? Therefore, how many days? You have 7 days. 7 days is equal to 24 hours into 7. That will give us the answer. Okay. So, you will get an answer. Okay. Next, you write in the margin 10s and 1s. And put down your numbers. You have 24 hours into 7 days. 24 hours into 7 days. Now, 7 fours are 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. 7 threes are 21. 7 fours are 28. So you put 8 over here. 28 put 2 plus 2 just near the tens. 7 twos are 14 plus 2, 16. So you get 168. So our answer is 168. 68 hours. That's our answer. Look at it again. 7 fours are 28. 2 carry over. 7 twos are 14 plus 2 16. Now let's take another sum. Convert 15 days into hours. So, our third sum is convert 15 days. Convert 
15 days into hours. Convert 15 days into hours. How many? 15 days we are going to do. Now, the first thing we need to do is work out the margin. Keep a margin ready for us to work out. Now, if one day is equal to 24 hours, Huh? Therefore, 15 days is equal to 24 into 24 into 15. Alright? 24 or into, I'll put it in red for you to look at carefully. All right. Good. Now, if one day is equal to 24 hours, now again you put here ones and tens. And what is put down? 15 days. How many hours will they be? So, what do you do? 24 into 15, into 15, 24 into 15 and here you have two lines of multiplication to be done. Now, one day, 24 hours, 15 days, how many hours will they be? So now we multiply, first we take 5 into 4. 20, you put the 0 here, plus 2. 5, 2 is 10, plus 2, 12. So you get 120. 5, 4 is 20, you carry over 2. 5, 2 is 10, plus 2, 12. Now we go take this 1. First remember, put a dash. Your 1 into 4 is, below the 1 you put 4. 1, 4 is 4, 1, 2 is 2 and then you are supposed to add on both these together to remind you put a nice little plus over there before we add together. Now, you bring the 0 down, 2 plus 4 is 6, 1 plus 2 is 3. So, your answer is, what answer do you get? 300 and 60 hours. So, your answer is equal to 360 hours. That's your answer. Okay. Now, let's work out another problem. Okay. Convert 9 days into hours. Put sum, convert nine days into hours. We are going to convert. The question is convert nine days into hours. Alright, now we work with, first, if one day is equal to 24 hours, if one day is equal to 24 hours, therefore, then what happens? Therefore, 9 days, we are going to work with 9 days, 9 days. In 9 days, how many hours are there? So, 9 days will be 24 hours into 9 days. Into 9 days. What will be our answer? What answer will we get? 
So your answer will be whatever we get. Now, first we put the margin and then we write down 24. 24 into 9 and this is 10 and then we write once and multiply 24 hours into 9 days. 9 fours are 36 plus 3 in small right. 9 fours are 36 and carry over the 3 over to the tens place. 9 twos are 18. 9 twos are 18. 18 plus 3. 18 plus 3 is 21. Okay. So you get 21 over here. Your answer is 216 hours. 216 hours. Okay, what did we learn today? We learned to convert days into hours. One day is 24, so you will multiply the number of hours into the day's hours.